Hey guys, what is going on? This is Pete on the beat. In this video, I would like to teach you an extremely effective method or extremely effective technique, if you prefer, on how to bring your delts and your chest. It really doesn't matter if you want to bring only deltoids or chest. This is an extremely effective method. So before I start, I would like to point out that the whole thing that I'm about to show is not based around lifting heavier weights or doing PRs and that kind of stuff. It's based around a lot of volume, a lot of pre-exhaustion. By any means, this is not an easy routine. This is not a beginner's routine. I definitely encourage you to experiment with it, but definitely not a beginner's routine. And the other thing that I would like to say before I start is if you really want to see someone lifting heavier weights and doing PRs and that kind of stuff, I definitely recommend you to switch the video because in the end of the day, I really don't want to waste your time. So with that being said, I would like to start with the first exercise from the whole routine. And just another side note before the first exercise, you can do abs and calves before the whole routine in order to get the blood going and basically warm up your whole body. This is something that I prefer to do on a day-to-day -day basis. It works for me and I do this with each and every of my sessions. So the first superset guys is based around two exercises. The first one is rear cable raises, rear standing cable raises to be more specific and the face pulls. You are probably familiar with both of these. You can definitely play around with the ratio of the sets and reps and basically adjust things accordingly to your personal preferences as long as for the sets and reps but for the most part i definitely encourage you to not change the order of the whole routine this routine works that effectively because of its order and this actually reminds me to explain why we start with the rear deltoids and then we are going to move to the side deltoids and from there we are going to target everything else the reason for this is because those are weaker points for a lot of the people and the other reason for this is because this will allow us to warm the whole joint a lot better and then when we train the chest the chest will contract a lot better trust me on this one i guarantee you're going to be able to get a lot better stimulation and a lot overall better contraction after the first superset we are going to move to the next two exercises those are side deltoid braces the first one is seated and the next one the fourth actually is the standing side deltoid braces with dumbbells here i would like to point out that you can switch one of these for a cable movement for the side deltoids or a machine movement for the side deltoids if you are able to use that type of piece of equipment me personally at the gym that i train there is no such piece of equipment so i prefer to stick with dumbbells but you can do either way in order to bring more variety or you can switch on each and every training session in order to again bring more variety i hope that makes sense to you on the side deltoid races we are going to do six sets between 12 to 15 reps for both of these exercises and then we're going to move to the fifth movement for deltoids and this is the upright row on this particular movement guys i prefer to keep the rep range a bit lower which means that i do like eight to ten reps for the most part but i stick with five to six sets another thing that i would like to make attention to is the way that i grip the bar and I prefer to grip the bar a bit wider because from this position, from this grip, I'm able to isolate and target the side deltoid a lot better. And this will definitely help you isolating the side deltoid better. So if you really want to prioritize this body part, I definitely encourage you grip the bar a bit wider. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. So then we're going to move to the last exercise for shoulders. And those are behind the neck camera strength military presses and front camera strength military presses. And here I would like to point out that we are going to use the presses for finishing the shoulder routine and as a bridge between the chest training and the shoulder training because with a lot of the chest training movements, a lot of the presses, even with a lot of the twice movements and all that, you are actually involving a lot of front deltoids and that kind of stuff. We are going to use the behind the neck version and the front version. You can switch between free weights, but for the most part, I prefer to use this machine because it's a lot safer. And on the other hand, I'm able to target each and every site individually, which for me personally, it's hell of a benefit. So after the presses, we are going to move straight to the cable crossovers. A great way to stretch the whole chest and basically throw some blood and get the pump going and all that. Here, I believe is the right time to say this, that 
for the most part for the whole chest training I did like three sets on each and every of the exercises that I'm about to show because I want to keep the bulk of the volume on the shoulders because my shoulders are one of my weakest body parts and my chest is one of my strongest body parts this is something that I definitely recommend you to pay attention to because in the end of the day it's extremely important to prioritize your weakest areas it really doesn't matter the way how I prefer to train or the way how the next guy prefers to train it's all about prioritizing your weakest areas so if your chest is weaker definitely keep the bulk of the volume on your chest if your deltoids are weaker definitely keep the bulk of the volume on your deltoids I hope that makes sense to you this is actually obvious for a lot of people but I definitely prefer to point this out anyway after the cable crossover we are going to do another hammer strength machine this time this is a chest press you can play with the angle in order to get the best stimulation possible but for me personally I prefer to use an angle that actually allows me to target more of my upper pecs like this area right here, I'm not so sure if you're able to see, but you're going to be able to see on the footage. Again, I did like 3 sets, 12 to 15 reps, nothing too crazy, I used like more than half a stack. Both of the machines that I used are stack based, just in case you wonder. And after the hammer strength machine for chest, we are going to do the first free weighted movement for the pectorals and those are either a regular flat bench twice with dumbbells or an inclined version of the twice. Me personally, I prefer to go with the inclined version. And the reason for this is because, again, I try to target that specific area right here. And the other reason for this is because for my body composition, I do believe I feel a lot more painful stretch and a lot deeper stretch from the inclined version of the twice. But again, you can do either way and it's all about getting the best stimulation possible for your body composition so definitely pay attention to this one and after the incline twice we are going to finish with another free weighted movement this is actually my favorite chest press movement and those are the dumbbell presses from the incline for the most part i prefer to stick with the dumbbell presses from the incline but once in a while i might also use the guillotine press instead if you're familiar with the guillotine press or the bench press to neck this is a legendary old school movement from Vince Gironda. It is a great like overall mass builder for the chest and of course it's a great finisher. So yeah, right now I'm about to show some more footage from the gym and basically this is everything I wanted to show you. For the most part I definitely encourage you to play with the total volume, I definitely encourage you to play with the ratio as long as for sets and reps for chest and sets and reps for the shoulders it really depends on your personal preferences your personal goals but for the most part definitely stick with the order that i showed you because this is like extremely effective method to train chest and deltoids i use this quite often and i guarantee you're gonna be amazed from the results that you're going to achieve by using this technique so yeah guys besides this you can follow me on instagram that is pete on the beat you can also follow me on twitter that is twitter.com slash pete on the beat one i hope you find this video helpful and useful you can give me some comments in the comment section down below so yeah guys this is basically it. i'm gonna video for now i would like to thank you for watching this video please stay tuned for more have a nice fun and good work with improving your deltoids and your chest peace Yeah.